Hey YouTubers, good morning. Lady G has finally spoken out against all the bickering that has been going on with the dance hall ladies. And she has spoken out in a positive way. So long before there was social media or streaming platforms, Lady G was a hot commodity within the dance hall space. With a career spanning 38 years, Lady G came, saw, and conquered. The winner of the finale DJ of the Year Award on multiple occasions, 1988, 1989, 1990, 1991, 1994, and need I say more, Lady G truly paved the way for many female dancehall artists of today. While living in De La Viga City in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, Lady G said growing up in De La Viga City, she was neighbors to Papa San and Dirt's man. She said she used to watch San write lyrics and DJ on the song system. She further went on to say she started writing her own lyrics. And whenever there was a function in the community, she would participate. She said there was a talent competition in Spanish Town and she performed. And then she met Daddy McKee. And he took her to Black Scorpio, and that's where she started DJing on a song system. She added she was happy that she was able to work with some of the respected entertainers and song owners who really respected her talent and helped to elevate her career. Dartsman was shot and killed in the community by unknown assailants in December 1993. Unlike the artists of today, Lady G honed her craft on song systems before recording a song. She said her only regret in the music industry, even though she said, I have achieved a lot and I'm not going to be ungrateful. I just wish that at the time I had recorded more songs because I had the platform. I was focusing on live performances, which was the in thing at the time, she explained. Lady G said the first producer she ever worked with was Jack Scorpio. Lady G is her stage name. Her real name is Janice Fife. Over the years, she had a lot of hit songs, including her 1988 number one hit, Enough Respect, which at the time and still is an anthem for the females. That particular song was produced by Gussie Clark's Anchor Records. Lady G said, Enough Respect was her first hit song. It really changed her life, she said. It proved to people that, as she put it, I'm also a recording artist. At the time, I was mostly performing on the song system. Enough Respect gave me the opportunity to travel all over the world. Enough Respect was huge. The song topped the JBC record top 30 chart, as well as reggae charts within the United Kingdom, the Caribbean, and in New York. A year later, she had two more hits. Sam Fee Lover with Hompton James of The Techniques and legal rights with Papa San, number one on every major chart in Jamaica. But it wasn't until 1990 that Lady G's popularity went through the roof with Round Table Talk, another collaboration with Papa San. Lady G said that was the highlight of her career. 
She said everyone was singing that song. We also did the video and everything started happening to me then. Another highlight for me was performing at Sting 1988, Lady G shared. She said Round Table Talk was the song of the year for 1990 on the RJR Top 100. The video won the <laughs> Jammy Award for Best Music Video. Round Table Talk really helped me to raise my profile as an artist. It put me up against the big DJs at that time in the business. And to see myself as a female artist standing up there with an artist like Papa San really did well for my career, she added. Another hit for Lady G was Breeze Off, produced by Danny Brown of Juvenile Records and which topped the charts in 1997. However, in 2000, Lady G and then label mate at Main Street Records, Chrissy D teamed up with British Garage Music Outfit B15 Project for the hit single Girls Like Us, which reached number seven on the British pop charts. Number 22, the Netherlands, where it had been certified gold, and number 35 in Scotland. The success of Girls Like Us saw Chrissy D and Lady G performing the song on the highly rated and popular British television pop show, Top of the Pops. In 2020, Lady G was honored by the Jamaican Reggae Industry Association with the Iconic Artists in the Music Industry Award. Her advice to up and coming artists, female artists in the music industries to do songs that they will be proud of in their later years. She said, I want a new crop of females to do songs that when you are older, you can feel proud with yourself and perform them on stage and people can enjoy it. Be true to yourself. Sing something that you believe in and have respect for yourself and others. Don't do anything that in the long run you will regret. It's not all about the money. It's about the dignity. YouTubers, how true is that? Truer words have never been spoken. I'm telling you. Lady G hit it right on the head. You know, it's one thing performing and making your money. Quick money. Anybody can take off their clothes and skin up and make their quick money. But when you get to be older and you want to perform, those number one songs, skin up songs that you made, you won't be able to do it. That's what she's saying. All that lick and whop and all that stuff, you get to be 65 and try performing those songs and see if people don't laugh you off the stage. 60, 65 or, you know, or, or, or 50 plus, and you're singing songs like that. They're not songs that will span the test of time. Sure, it's going to give you quick money because, you know, people like sensationalism and sex sells. But what Lady G is saying, if you want a legacy, something le lasting past you, after you're dead and gone, your children can listen to those songs, your children's children, your great, 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 great grandchildren can listen to those songs. It's like Bob Marley. Respectable songs, not songs, skin up songs that you're taking off your clothes, you're, you know, rubbing on yourself and have other females rubbing on you. It's not songs that will stand the test of times. You won't be able to perform those songs as you get older. 
the respectability for yourself. Once you start performing those type of songs, people start disrespecting you because they realize you don't have respect for yourself. Look at that song lick that Sensia just did. I mean, she left nothing to the imagination. The behind was out. The cleavage was almost there, out. There was nothing to imagine, you know? And, 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 and when everything was hanging out, she stepped it up or not. She opened up her legs and put a big lollipop and then put a hole in the lollipop. And then Megan is coming out the lollipop. You know, and all this simulation of sex and, I mean, there's nothing left to the imagination. And then these females wonder why they are disrespected in the industry and why there's so much rape. I mean, there's no excuse in any man taking advantage of a woman. No is no. But when you put out songs like this and then you go into the studio and you're singing these songs or on stage and then you go into the studio and you wonder why these men are groping you and trying to, you know, touch you here and there. It's because they think you're a loose woman and you're dumb for anything. You know? If you're singing these type of songs, what, are, what kind of message you send to these men in the same music industry? I know Sensei likes to say that she's respected, but trust and believe, baby girl, if you continue singing these type of songs, that respect is going to go to the window. And you're going to find yourself having to fight these men off every single time you go to the studio. And you keep saying no, no, no. And they keep coming, coming, coming. And one day... You're going to put up with a whole group of them in the studio. And you won't be able to say no because they're going to take it. That's what happens. That's what happens. They don't tell you. And it's a shame that the females who were raped in the industry, it's a shame that they don't warn you early on. You know, like Tanya Stevens came out and she said she was raped. Right? But there are a lot more artists that got raped, female artists. And mom's the word. They don't say anything because they're so ashamed. The rapists, we live in a society where the victims are shamed and blamed. And so they keep quiet. So be careful, Miss Sencia, Miss Jada Kingdom, and Ishana and all these young artists coming up. Tread lightly. You're in an industry full of men. And when you sing these provocative songs and these men have hard-ons, all the no you're going to be telling them, no means yes in their eyes, okay? Because they're going to say, if you didn't want it, you wouldn't be singing like that. So be very careful, young ladies. That's what Lady G was saying. That's all she was saying. Have yourself some type of legacy. Build you a career that is that you can be proud of live later on in life that you don't have to constantly excuse you know some people go to life after they're done singing and they have to excuse their performances well you know i'm saved now that was then like miss miss uh, miss minister hall you know and it's a shame that she's going to be coming back into dance hall I, I, I really don't want her to come back. She should leave the way she left and continue that. You don't leave on top and then come back and then try to battle your way with these young kids again. Not a good look. But in any event, big up, big up, big up to Lady G. And I'm glad you are not throwing your hat in the ring. Okay, because I don't want to see you in this mess either. 
certain film, females in the reggae genre, respected females, should stay out of stuff like this. Stay out of mess. Just give advice, like Lady G. Lady G says, if you want a legacy that is respected, not only by your peers, but by your loved ones, family and friends, you have to start building. You know, you build your foundation. And that is in the music business, you build with reputable songs like Bob Marley did. And those songs are sustaining today. They're, he was one of the top artists to make a lot of money in 2021. You know, he was one of the, you know, he, although he's dead, his songs are still outselling a lot of other artists. Okay, and that's a legacy. And that's what Lady G was talking about. YouTubers, I'm over now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscribe button before leaving. And let me know what you think. You know, drop your comments. Thank you.